Good morning and welcome to St Andrew's Church this morning for our 10 o'clock Eucharist. Today we celebrate Agnes. Agnes is one of the most well-known and widely venerated of an early Roman martyr. Perhaps because of her expression of mature resilience and sheer bravery in a girl of 13. Agnes is reputed to have refused an arranged marriage because of her total dedication to Christ and stated that she preferred even death of the body to the death of her consecrated virginity. The growing variation for the state of consecrated virginity at this time. Combined with the last major Roman persecution under the Emperor Diocletius, climaxing in an innocent virgin child, willingly shedding her blood for Christ, placed her at the forefront of variation, almost from the moment the persecution ended. She is believed to have died in the year 304, and her feast has ever since been celebrated on this day. So let us just start with a prayer. Compassionate God, as you know each star you have created, so you know the secrets of our hearts. Be with us today as we venture each day in this uncertain world. We thank you for your constant presence with us all. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee and worthily magnify thy holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. There is none other commandments greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, Lord have mercy upon us and incline our hearts to keep this Lord. And I call it for today to celebrate Agnes's life. Eternal God, shepherd of your sheep, whose child Agnes was strengthened to bear witness in her living and her dying, to the true love of her Redeemer, grant us the power to understand with all your saints, what the breadth and life and the height and depth, and to know the love that surpasses knowledge, even Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, Amen. who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And we listen to our first reading. A reading from the book Ecclesiasticus. I give you thanks, O Lord and King, and praise you, O God my Saviour. I give thanks to your name, for you have been my protector and helper, and have delivered me from destruction and from the trap laid by a slanderous tongue, from lips that fabricate lies. In the face of my adversaries, you have been my helper and have delivered me. 
in the greatness of your mercy and of your name, from grinding teeth about to devour me, from the hand of those seeking my life, from the many troubles I endured. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So the response to the psalm is, Your name, O God, will be remembered from Your one generation name. to another. Your name, O God, God will be remembered be from, from one, one generation, generation to, to another. another. Hear, O daughter, consider and incline your ear. Forget your own people and your father's house. So shall the king have pleasure in your beauty. He is your Lord, so do him honour. Your name, O God, will be remembered from one generation to another. The people of Tyre shall bring you gifts. The richest of the people shall seek your favour. The king's daughter is all glorious within. Her clothing is embroidered cloth of gold. Your name, O God, will be remembered from one generation to another. She shall be brought to the king in raiment of needlework, after her virgins that are her companions. With joy and gladness shall they be brought, and enter into the palace of the king. Your name, O God, will be remembered from one generation to another. Reading. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew chapter 18 verses 1 to 7. Glory be to thee, Lord. The disciples came to Jesus and asked, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He, he called a child whom he put among them and said, Truly I tell you, Unless you change and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever becomes humble like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. If any of you put a stumbling block before one of these little ones who believe in me, it would be better for you if a great milestone was fastened around your neck and you were drowned in the depths of the sea. Woe to the world because of the stumbling blocks. Occasions for stumbling are bound to come, but woe to the one by whom the stumbling block comes. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. So please be seated or kneel for our prayer. Let us pray for the whole state of Christ's church, millions here in earth. Almighty and ever-living God, who by thy holy apostles has taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all people, we humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept our alms and oblations and to receive these prayers which we <coughs> offer unto thy divine majesty beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth unity and concord and to grant that all that do confess thy holy name may agree in truth of thy holy word and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also to save and defend all Christian kings, princes and governors, and especially thy servant Elizabeth our Queen, that under her we may be godly and quietly governed, and grant unto her whole counsel, and to all that are put in authority under her, that they may truly and impartially minister judgeness to the punishment and wickedness and vice, 
and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops, priests and deacons, that they may both by their life and doctrine set forth thy true and lively word and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially this congregation here present today. With meek heart and true due reverence, they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee with holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succour all them who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness or any other adversity. And we remember on our prayer list Mark Williams, Annis Tonkinson, Barbara Lavender, Mary Pearson, Patrick Wiles, Med, Gil Med Gilbert, Enie Hudson, Angela Williams, Diane Laverick, Jeanette Cooper, Don Wilkes, Jane Wolverson, Jamie Thompson, Billy McCauley, Wanna, Zach Reel, Roy and Gwen Price, Blanche Dakin, Lindsay Link, Ken Harris, Martin Gandhi, Anne Phillips, Shirley Tart, Vera Wilkins and Julie Besbor. And anybody who we know who is ill at this time. As we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear. And we remember Harold Sigley, Bess Edwards, Ruth Smith, Jean Jones, Mark Arnold, Janice Hayes, Peter Harris, Frank Dakin, whose funeral will be later on today, and in first year's mind, Ellen Norton. Beseeching thee to give us grace so to follow thy good examples, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, for our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Amen. And in let us recall the past week. We hold in our hearts a telephone call we made, a smile or a greeting, and for all the events which we didn't manage to fulfil and rise to your glory. We that do truly and earnestly repent us of our sins and are in love and charity with our neighbours and intend to lead a new life following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways. Draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament to our comfort and to make our humble confession to Almighty God. We say together, Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all people, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent and are heartily sorry for these our misdoings. The remembrance of them is grievous unto us. The burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life, 
to the, the honour and, and glory of thy name, thy name through, through Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant, we beseech thee, most merciful Lord, to thy faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve thee with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Hear what comfortable words our Saviour Christ saith unto all that truly turn to him. Come unto me, all that labour and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. So God loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, to the ends that all that believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Hear what St Paul saith, this is a true saying, and worthy of all people to receive, that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Hear what St John saith, If any one sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins. Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. Then their eyes were open, and they recognised him, and he vanished from their sight. They said to each other, were not your hearts burning within us while he was talking to us on the road, while he was opening the scriptures to us? That same hour they got up and returned to Jerusalem, and they found the eleven and their companions gathered together. They were saying, The Lord has risen indeed, and he has appeared to Simon. Then they told what had happened on the road and how he had made known to them the breaking of bread. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up unto the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is meet and right so to do. do. It is very meet and right and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Heavenly Father, almighty, everlasting God. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Amen. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And we say the humble access together. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in thy manifold and great mercies, we are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table. But thou art the same Lord, whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body and our souls wash through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. So Jesus said to them, Very truly I tell you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood have eternal life and I will raise them up on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. 
Those who eat my flesh and drink my blood abide in me, and I in them. Just as the living Father sent me, and I live because of the Father, so whoever eats me will live because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, not like that which your ancestors ate and they died, but the one who eats this bread will live forever. And we say the Agnes Day together. O oh, Lamb of God, that take us away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O oh, Lamb of God, that take us away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O oh, Lamb of God, that take us away the sins of the world, grant us thy peace. who gave us this holy meal in which we have celebrated the glory of the cross and the victory of your martyr Agnes. By our communion with Christ in his saving death and resurrection, give us with all your saints the courage to conquer evil and so to share the fruit of the tree of life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
And as our Saviour Christ has commanded and taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank thee, for thou that dost vouch to feed us, who has duly received these holy mysteries, with the spiritual food and the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of thy favour and goodness towards us, and that we are very members incorporate in thy mystical body of thy Son, which is the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs through hope of thy everlasting kingdom, by the merits of the most precious death and passion of thy dear Son. And we most humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship, and to do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honour and glory, world without end. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Faithful God, eternal light, shine in our hearts as we go out into the world, shining with your truth, your life, help us to reflect your love and peace in our families, our church and our communities, so that the world can witness that we are followers of Christ and through that witness draw others into your loving care. Amen. Amen. The peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep our hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost be amongst us and remain with us always. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thank you, Lord.